I suspect uh, we will need to go over a few humps before this participation really picks up in a significant manner. I think we need, uh, I would argue, the Fed uh, to shift focus from what it has so far been uh, focused on, which is stabilization, to a little bit more about policy accommodation. Uh, I think to get, uh, you know, especially emerging markets a lot more confident that we are going to stay here on rates and in liquidity support for a long period of time to come. I think the markets definitely need to get more comfortable with the left tail risk, if you might, coming out of uh, election-related geopolitics. Politics. That might not happen all the way till elections, but I suspect the markets, even before that, will probably start to factor in the probability that if it is election-related cal- calculations which are driving this risk, then they are a kind of bit time-defined rather than strategic in nature. And finally, we actually need to see some more money come into uh, EM assets. So what has been very unique about this crisis is that even though the Fed is printing a lot of dollars and in general Mm. balance sheets of central banks is going up, it's not necessarily Mm. crossing borders like it had Mm. done in the past and certainly not into emerging markets and not into Mm. Asia. Yes, we had a guest earlier on from Aberdeen Standard Life, a fixed income, Samir, who said that even if, uh, you know, EM credit does see money coming in, a lot of the money would be directed towards dollar-denominated EM assets and not local currency EM assets. And so when does that positioning change? Yeah, so I think, um, and this has again been a very interesting dynamic where in spite of the fact that the local currency emerging market index, the GBIEM, for example, has moved up almost 20% plus uh, since end of March, we haven't really seen money come into emerging markets, local currency assets in any substantial way. In fact, not even into equities or into local currency bonds. The bulk of money, if at all, has come back only into uh, dollar debt. Uh, Again, I think we need to start to see a little bit more comfort with the fundamentals of the underlying uh, economies in emerging markets, the growth picture, the divergence story with respect to uh, dealing with uh, the COVID crisis. 